This is another React Native tutorial and in this tutorial we'll learn how to do this animation, how to reach this animation and I'll explain through the whole tutorial each step. Uh, as you can see the text, it'd be different text for each image over here and image itself will have a shadow background which gives it more like a 3D feeling and at the same time as we scroll through we'll see this dots the change their width and the color as well so let's go ahead and get started so right now I have this default code over here let's save it and see the result okay so of course we can scroll through it even now so I have six images and we, we, which those images I have defined in an array and I also have a value for animations so that's called scroll X and this would be the main value for animation in our tutorial throughout this tutorial I'd be using this one for animating other objects or things or properties and I also have the scroll view over here and uh, I have defined some default properties so that we can get started quickly and because I have six images over here so I want to go through them map through them in a loop so that's why I have called here images dot map and at the same time I put this in animated dot view container so that we can animate it Alright, so what else we want right now? So first thing we want to show the dot objects over here. To do that, I'll define a view right below this view. Okay, so let's go ahead and define it. So view, alright. And this view, I want to give it some styles. So let's go ahead and call styles dot indicator. I call it container. Alright. So let's go ahead and define properties for it indicator container and I want to set the flex direction to row and uh, justify content center so that we can put everything within this container in the center uh, horizontally and vertically all right okay so the reason I have done this because this style object is within our container object over here so this is the parent container object or parent style object within this everything is laid out vertically like this horizontally but this one I don't want the the objects or views within this container I don't want them to lay out vertically I want to lay them horizontally so that's why I need to change the flex direction for this sub view Remember that every view inside a parent view, uh, they follow the default properties unless you change it. In our case, the default property is flex direction column. But for the sub view, for this certain sub view over here, we'll have soon, we'll change it to row. All right. Okay. Now let's go ahead and show this uh, uh, dot. But do remember that the color for this dot are saved in this image array over here. So we need to go through or look through this image array to show the color and also show the dots, right? So let's go ahead and uh, look through them. So I'll go through image dot map. So map function, we can use it. And we'll grab each object using image and uh, we'll define the index as image index so that we don't collapse or collide with each other. Okay, so right now I have this one and within this I'll return a view so I'll return something not really return a view but definitely right now or we'll return or we'll return or we'll return an animated view okay all right but actually I don't need this one because I'm not passing any children within it okay so of course I need uh, we save it nothing happens so far and of course most likely we'll get an error so to get rid of this thing, let's go ahead and define uh, style objects over here. Styles, okay. Mm, well, what uh, styles dot say normal dots, normal dots. Yeah. All right. So now let's go ahead and save it. So you can ignore this one for now. It doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and uh, do normal dots and define some properties. I want it to have width, width is 8 and I want it to have height, height is 8 and I want it to have border radius so border radius uh, should be 4 and let's give it a background color for now I want to give it background color red okay now let's save it and see what happens here 
okay still undefined function near faker image map so well so something is wrong well what is wrong here uh, let's see so we have this view here we return it and image uh, okay and the normal dots are not showing up yet uh, that's because uh, images I think here is the problem though yes okay yeah so sorry for the mistake all right and okay so right now as you see we have this one over here but they are too close to each other so to so we want to have a little distance within them so we can define as margin horizontal we can give this property and now there there will be some space over here all right but now I want to animate them animate them as we scroll through I want to have different colors and I also want them to change the width okay so we can do it let's go ahead and define a width variable const width okay and earlier I said that we'll use the scroll variable as the basic or standard variable for animating everything so let's interpolate this one okay all right so as we interpolate so uh, we need to define input range so input range say we'll use window width for this window width dot image index all right minus one okay now I'll copy paste this line to do that you can shift alter on Mac and uh, let's go with zero over here and plus over here all right we are good now let's define output range output range 8 16 and 8 all right and we'll do extrapolate over here extrapolate clamp all right so let's save it of course nothing happens because we need to pass this with object or animated value to our style object over here to do that we need to put it within an array so now let's go ahead and uh, provide this value over here with okay with equal width so that's why I don't need to really write like this okay so this is the same variable name so you can just use one of course another thing we want to do as we scroll through we want to have them different colors as I said that the colors are all saved here so let's go ahead and call the colors so we can do it very easily so color dot uh, I think that should be our background color actually yeah so image dot color okay good so we are scrolling through them and we see that width changes and of course they have different color for matching different images so this is more like a red or reddish color okay now another thing is missing okay one thing first I don't need this background color anymore because it doesn't take any effect anymore all right so another thing I want to do is give it a 3d filling this image itself so let's go ahead and find our image over here so this image is within the scroll container this sub view scroll container and let's define some properties for it so our scroll container is over here so we'll do it using shadow property uh, so let's uh, call the color define the color so I'll give it color a gray color 6a 6c 6e all right of course save it nothing happens and the shadow opacity it takes two properties with my with 10 and height minus 10 I want to do minus 10 because I want to be a little up over here all right of course still nothing happens because we didn't define a shadow opacity so I want to give it a shadow opacity for one okay now cool so now we have more 3d filling of this view okay and everything is working properly and right now we need to do, show up this text here and the text are saved within our images area object and each of them has a title property so we need to call this and we need to animate them and go through them because it's within an image images area object so we need to map through them using map function so let's go ahead and define a view first 
Hmm. Let's see. So let's give it a default style. So styles dot I can say text area. So now let's go ahead down and define it text area text area but nothing fancy about these properties I'll give it width 100% uh, and uh, margin bottom say 10 because when we show the text we don't want it to be too close to the image view over here so let's save it of course nothing happens because we are not still showing any text over here okay so now we want to uh, return a view first so let's go ahead and return a view and this would be our text view of course animated text view so animated dot view all right yeah okay because we need to return it uh, I think it's not this animated text actually not animated view right and we'll return it so that we can show it return okay cool and control alter it goes within it all right okay so of course uh, even if we go ahead and uh, save it nothing will happen because nothing to happen we are not providing anything so we'll first map to our images object to do that images dot map and first object is uh, we'll the object's name will define it as image you can do actually any name it doesn't matter and index would be image index again you can do any name you want it doesn't matter all right so let's move this up within this so that we can return six uh, uh, animated view okay now we're good and again right now what, what the thing we can do we can show the title so we have this object here image and image can grab this image object can grab the title properties so let's go ahead and save it of course the little messed up and uh, to get rid of this thing there are many different ways to do it but for now I'll do uh, absolute positioning and to do that let's first define a style object well, I'll have a lot of other style objects inside it, so I'm using array notification, array of objects. So uh, call this object as text view. That's why I'm using this uh, third braces over here because I want to put a lot of other style objects over here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, define properties for it. Uh, the first property I'll define is position absolute. Okay, of course, now they all collapse onto each other. So we need to fix this. Uh, well, there are many different ways to fix this again. Uh, the, th the way I'll do is I'll use uh, uh, transform and opacity property. Of course, trans tr I will do translate Y so it would show, show up slowly and disappear slowly as we scroll through. Okay, so now the first thing we want to do, we want to define uh, transform object so let's go ahead and do it transform and it takes several objects one of them is uh, translate Y and the uh, translate Y we want to scroll uh, uh, interpolate uh, using this scroll X object okay all right uh, because we would be doing few uh, interpolation here so one thing we can do we can go ahead and declare a variable first so const input range okay okay and uh, let's see what we can do over here I think we don't need to do it within return though otherwise we'll get an error so I'll copy paste this few lines from here and put it right over here so this is our default input range and we can use this input range for other uh, interpolation so now let's go ahead and call this variable and we'll define output range and output range maybe from minus 500 to 500 and 0 Alright, so now as you see, 
so everything else went on because they are not showing because they are all bind with the scrolling itself okay so the first problem solved but as you see as you scroll through they're still showing up down so we need to disappear them and to do that we can use opacity variable or opacity property of style object okay so now let's go ahead and do it okay so we want to define another uh, uh, property for styling opacity so opacity and uh, we'll scroll again using the scroll object I mean we'll interpolate again okay and I'll call the uh, the defined variable input range and output range opacity 0 1 0 and for now we'd be good all right now let's see what happens yes it's gone as you see so as it reaches to say five when well no so this is the default position for each text minus 50 so actually it starts from zero is here minus 50 is here minus 500 is over here all right so the next one is actually hiding over here but the next one the opacity is zero because the x value or oh, sorry the y value is zero that is over here for this sub view for certain sub view the y value zero is over here and for this one we are using opacity equals zero so even if you scroll through we can't see you see it slowly disappears like this yes okay all right and the same for the previous one okay it doesn't matter how far we are but we just don't show it we only show the current one when it is minus 50 over here opposite is one for otherwise for all the other positions we hide them or hide well there are many different ways you can do it I'm using opacity and which is uh, easy and convenient all right okay so we are almost done with the animation now we need to put it over here and change the color so how do you do that so well of course we, we have color object over here so just call them uh, so to do that okay so now we can define the color from here right okay so what, what color we can use so we can use we are using text color so color images dot color as you see the color changed right now we need to put it in the middle over here and make the text bigger well to do that we need to change our style object over here so so we have this position absolute and uh, set font of size 22 save it make it bigger and font uh, family my favorite font have uh, no change it and then we can say font weight maybe 600 looks better and then we can use text align text align center but nothing will happen yet it is still stay its original position because we didn't define the width the width should grab 100% view of its parent view so now it should be in middle right now so let's uh, go through it again so scroll gone the text is gone here scroll again the text is gone here you can scroll fast if you want okay it's, it's slowly disappearing behind this 3d object so it's cool animation right so well in this animation actually we learned a few things so we can only define one animated value object or one value for animation and we can use that one for many different other animations and uh, because most of our uh, object properties are stored within this images object so we, we, we need to map through it and uh, as we map through we also need to interpolate to show different values at different range input range so output value would be different all right so guys if you like this tutorial don't forget to give me a like and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much see you in next tutorial